The METRA program aims to positively impact the lives of ex-offenders and their families through Hindu life values and practices. Mitra means friend in Sanskrit. A true friend is a positive influence in our life. A true friend brings out the best in us. And a true friend is honest, open and encouraging. Since 2005, trained volunteers from the Hindu Centre act as friends to ex-offenders to share teachings of Hinduism, its spiritual practices and its ethical values promote and strengthen family ties and bonds during incarceration. Offer aftercare support to release ex-offenders. Now, let us hear how the program started from a pioneer volunteer. We didn't start with Rajas overnight. It took us about one and a half years before we came up with the program, close to one and a half years. And during this one and a half years, we looked at a model that would be helpful for the offender population. We looked at approaches that would be helpful to, to the offending population. Because I think what was important was to help them uh, to look at their current behaviours and also look at how they want to be different. And look at we looked at models that would be helpful for them to practice while they are serving time and also look at models that they can use at their own comfort when they are in the community. We thought that it would be good to bring a group session and in a group session they can process, they can reflect, they can discuss, look at who they are, explore their self and at the same time look at alternate ways of change to help them in their change. Our volunteers reach out to ex-offenders through weekly Hindu counselling sessions at the following institutions Changi Prison, Admiralty West Prison, Tanah Merah Prison, Singapore Boys Home, Singapore Girls Home, SAF Detention Barracks and the Ashram Halfway House. In the Mitra program, volunteers share Hindu human values and how to live these values to achieve their personal happiness. Now, let us hear from our Mitras how the program has impacted them. Hi, my name is Mohan. I had been incarcerated before a few times, but this time round, when the Mitra counselors came, they were really very helpful and encouraging, and I really am deeply indebted to them for the timely help that they had given me. So, and then I learned a lot about religion, and how to be patient, tolerant. In fact, I lost my mother when I was in prison. But faith, the faith in God helped me a lot. And Mitra counselors were, they really encouraged us and they had, uh, what would you say, they had the belief in us. That in itself encouraged us to you know, that's a very good thing about Mitra counselors. You know, when somebody has the trust in you, then you have the belief in yourself. Looking at the counselors, we will every week be hoping for them to come. Most of us will be eagerly waiting for the counseling sessions. Words alone cannot describe how, how much I have gained through these Mitra counselors. Okay, I'm Ganesh. I've been incarcerated for several times in prison, while my last was in 2010, where I came upon this Mitra counselling, my mom, my sister and my nephew was there for me in my visit and no other individual was there for me. So when I came to this Mitra, I felt like a family because of their, their love was there and the way they did things for me, even though they got a lot of problems behind them, but still they took their time to be there for us every Saturday. And this really moved me. And through the way they were like friends, family, and even like mother, sister, brothers. And that is what really motivate me to be now here. In the past, when I was, before I came this counseling, now I was like in my own way, anger, sadness, or even if I think I want to do anything negative, like drink, anything, I just go in my own way. But after I came through this counseling, I know the values and I know 
the duty of a Hindu and what am I supposed to do and what am I supposed not to do. So, yeah, of course, sometimes negative thoughts arise. Uh, but I learn out more to be calm and I know what to do at these kind of negative situations. So I just stay calm. I sometimes do my japas, prayers, or even if I'm dumb, I just talk to my counselors and they are there for me. So they guide me. So I find that whatever I learn, the values are really applies and is good for my future. So from here, I can see that I'm changing and I'm becoming a more calm of a person. Mitra volunteers come from various backgrounds, ages and races. Many have no prior knowledge of Hinduism or helping skills. Through training and learning provided by the Hindu Centre and the Singapore Prison Service, they acquire knowledge and skills to become effective and committed Mitra counsellors. The Mitra program would not have been possible without our pool of dedicated volunteers. The Hindu Centre advances the spiritual evolution of Singapore Hindus through jnana, knowledge, dharma, duty, bhakti, devotion, and seva, service. The Hindu Centre aspires to be recognised as an authoritative voice on Hinduism and as a focal organisation for all Hindus in Singapore through exemplary management and service to the community.